Well, it's that time again. I'm going to pick up my 2017 Hobie Pro Staff boat. So, you guys stay tuned. So it's March 13th. I'm a little late on picking up my boat because I'm buying my 2016 Hobie Pro Angler 14. But the boat I have chose is the 2017 Hobie Solo Island, I think is what they call it now. Or Island Solo, like I said that backwards. It's no longer the Adventure Island, it's the Island Solo and the Tandem Island. Or, I got the yellow one and I'm going to ACK in spring to pick it up. And if given the opportunity, I may try to take it out today. I don't know, it's kind of cloudy, it may rain, but it's really cold. So, I don't know, I'd really like to. I always, if y'all watched my last video when I picked up my Pro Angler 14, I took it out that same day and did some fishing and caught a nine pound bass that night. Pretty, uh, pretty awesome day there. So, you guys stay with me. I got my daughter with me. And uh, she's with me during spring break and I hope to get her out on this kayak and do some sailing. And heck, I might even try to bass fish out of this thing and give you guys a report on that and see if it's even doable. All right, guys. I will see you at ACK. Come on. Let's go get it. Yep. Come on. <laughs> What's up, Ralph? Not a whole lot. How's it going? Good, man. Good. This is it. Isn't that cool? What's that? That's what keeps it stable when you're sailing. You got one on the other side, too. Because it goes pretty fast. Oh my gosh. <laughs> but this is ours, look. That's my boat. Look how tall it is. I hope we can take it out. We'll try. We'll try. All right, guys, we got everything loaded up, and this box right here, this has the outriggers, the Mirage Drive, the cell, the mast, all that good stuff, the seat. It's all got that contained in this box, and it just barely cleared when we slid it into the van here. So it's all the way up to the front and all the way to the back door. So didn't have to throw it on the trailer, which I was happy about. This thing's heavy. But uh, we got the kayak, so Rayleigh's pretty excited. We we want to take it out on the, on the water today, but it's cold. But, we may just have to just chance it. We just have to, might just chance it and be idiots. <laughs> Come on. Look at all these goodies. kayak a little bit rigged up put a rod holder a rail blazer rod holder here uh, for holding this rod I plan on doing some trolling and I got another one just sitting right here beside me uh, just kind of stuck in the paddle holder uh, I really hadn't had time to do anything to the kayak I've only had it a couple days so uh, yeah we're like oh there we go looks like we got about eight all right Looks like we got about an eight mile per hour east wind today, so I think it's gonna be a pretty good day for sailing. I'm gonna try to get out here and troll for some hybrid. I don't have any electronics or anything, so I'm just winging it from past experiences. But uh, yeah, you guys stay tuned. I got a cooler in the back. I plan on spending the whole day out here, so you guys stay tuned. Come on.
All right, guys, that about wraps up this episode of VentureTube. I hope you enjoyed. I'm heading to the house now. I'm soaking wet, but I had a good time today. I hope you guys enjoyed watching, and if you did, show it to me. Hit that like button. And uh, I'll see you guys on the next episode. I'll be making a lot of videos with this new kayak here, uh, modifications, and uh, just what I think about it in general. And so far, it's a heck of a lot of fun. You guys take care. God bless. Come on.